Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video we are trying to fulfill some missions. We had launched a Duna station and a Val station. We would like those to arrive and also use the dart to retrieve some Kerbals because we are basically out of Kerbals and we need some back. So the first thing is a maneuver with the Duna station here. And so I'm just going to time warp until we get to that point. It looks like uh, this is an arrival maneuver. Okay, we are in Duna SOI and we're making a minor adjustment here. Duna station is mostly fuel tanks because as usual I don't see a huge point in staging off the fuel tanks that get us to orbit and bring us here. Might as well have them. This should just be getting our periapsis down. Uh, that'll be good enough. Alright, and on to Duna. Let's remind ourselves. It says altitude. Oh, that's the valve station. I was wondering. That's a weird altitude. Altitude below 140 kilometers. So we're good there. We just need to get into orbit and then we are set with this. There's Duna and Ike. Okay, making orbit. Boy, those engines are twitching a lot. Or is that some sort of. Yeah, they're, they're twitching like crazy. These wolfhounds, um, okay, maybe we should just do stability assist. Retrograde seems awful hard for it. Okay, maybe it was just because it was low thrust or something. I don't know if it needs to be in a low orbit. This is already below Ike orbit. Gosh, what do we have up there? Oh, Ike mobile base probe. This is confusing for a sec there. I was looking like, wait, aren't there too many orbits around here? Doesn't this look like Jewel or something? No, that's just our own missions. Okay, so uh, we have not fulfilled it yet. Okay, so the whole altitude, not just the periapsis, has to be below 140. Okay, so we have fulfilled it now. And we got 700,000 for that. Okay, so we'll have to add some more modules on this and do ISRU, I think, is what we want to do with it. So that we can expand our empire. Now, <laughs> okay, on to the DART. Now, the DART is fairly Delta V constrained. Wondering exactly how we're going to pick up, or how many Kerbals we're going to pick up with it. Okay, this correction very lightly and that gets us to well, about 113 kilometers and then we have a capture maneuver that also includes an Ike periapsis so I guess we'll pick up the Ike people first here comes Duna I did have the foresight to put an independent controller there. I think we'll just dispose of this, though. All sorts of Ike contortions. Okay. Um, we could probably leave it on this trajectory. Let's see. So it smashes into Ike, basically, the stage. We could try and refuel it or do something else with it. But I'd probably just forget about it. It doesn't have any comms on it. So, yeah, I'd probably just end up forgetting about it. Best to leave it crashing. Okay. Mm, and it doesn't have solar panels either. It is still crashing into Ike. Okay. That is no longer our node. And we actually want to go retrograde. And we should activate the engine. Which we have 2,000 meters per second with. I thought it was saying we had less, so maybe we're not too bad off. Okay, we are on our way to Ike. But we need to match inclination with... Um, Ike Mobile Base, right? Yep, Phil Cell, Shep Gun, and Luton. Two scientists and an engineer. Oh, wait, and another scientist. Uh, have they done? I mean, we might as well transmit the science. Well, we will do that when they leave. 
Maybe we should leave a couple or one. Is there much data there? There is still some data. We are still researching. So maybe I'll leave one Kerbal in there. I mean, we don't need need the science yet. Maybe if I add some other mods. Okay, we look like we are pretty close to orbit. Hold on. Oh god, which way around is it going? Okay, we are going the right way around. Yay! <laughs> Looks like we're using a lot of pitch authority. Yeah. This is imbalanced. For now, that's okay. We're not in a rush. Um, let me wait until the opposite side of right there so that we can gauge where we might get an encounter. There we go. Eh, I'll be fine. Okay. I'll take the three point whatever kilometers and we need to get into daylight soon, hopefully. Lots of comms. Always nice to have lots of comms. Okay, since I'm not going to run the engine at full thrust because we seem to be imbalanced, I will do some early. Okay, we are approaching the Ike Mobile base. And that is not a docking port. <laughs> Got to figure out where the docking port is. Oh, it doesn't let me go target retrograde with the SAS anymore. Everything manually. Okay, well, here. Should already be controlling from here. And docked. All right. So now, let's transfer peoples. Let's see, who needs the Science point is most. Phil Cell really needs to come back and get Luton already has four stars, so we'll leave Luton. That way also if the dart fails, then we'll still have our best scientist. <laughs> uh Okay. Crew. Phil Cell. Oh I guess we can level up crew in uh in here already. Okay, we've leveled up everybody. Now it really doesn't matter. They're all four stars. Anyway, transmit science. I noticed that Phil Cell and Shep Gun do not have their parachutes. We've got parachute there and a parachute there. Do we want them to get those? Okay, pin. Ah, there we go. All right. Now they have their parachutes as well. Just in case. <laughs> All right, uh, I don't know if we want to grab some liquid fuel while we're here. Might as well. All right. Undock. Let's grab some more Kerbals. Putin is now all alone. So what we need to do is get to Duna Mission 2, is it? Let's see. Tedbury, yeah. Uh, but Ted... So Tedbury would be the easy one. It was this was it Duna Mission 3 Lander or was it the other equatorial one? If it's the other equatorial one, there's a breeze. But no, it's Bill in this polar orbit. Now if the polar orbit had been aligned so that it was in line with our periapsis and apoapsis, in other words, if the polar orbit was like this, it'd be relatively easy to get from Tedbury over to Bill because we could tilt our orbit our apoapsis, but now we would have to tilt our orbit over here, which is closer to Duna and costs more delta V. So that's irritating. Well, anyway, let's get Tebri first and then think about it. I think that's the maneuver we will do. But we will have to give ourselves some more time because I'm not gonna run the engine at full tilt because it's been hard to balance. But the landing gear, well, the landing gear was deliberately light though. And we have the parachutes on top, and we have the antenna on top, and we have the vertical stabilizer on top, so... Basically, we needed something on the bottom. 
But that's the side that's going to be hitting the atmosphere, so there's not a lot that you can put on there. There goes the mobile base. And stop. Okay. And that leaves us with about five degrees. Well, that's an awkward encounter right now. We'll do some inclination adjustment at apoapsis. Well, at that ascending node anyway. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, burning. SAS just wobbles so much. Even when there's no need to wobble, it wobbles. They didn't need to do that to us. Okay, let me assess whether there's any point to slowing down and docking or whether there's no fuel in here for us. Uh, let's just have Tebri EVA and climb on board the other one. If we can find the other one. It'd be like 200 meters away. Alright. Okay, grab. And board. Okay, so Ted Breeze on. And we're floating right by Ted Breeze's formal, former vessel. Now, the annoying one. <laughs> I wonder how much it takes just to tilt. Let's just check that. So, we want to get to that. 72 degrees. That's a lot. If we just do it like this, we're talking about 700 meters per second. So, all right. Say we spend 200 going out like that. Flip around like that. How much is this one? 458. It's hardly any better. <laughs> uh, and then we have to get back down again too. Okay, so what we end up with is 206 to boost up, 424, we could probably boost up even more. But maybe we should just take this. Uh, does, does the, the lander probably has nothing. Does it have any liquid fuel to give us? Not really. Maybe we shouldn't bring Bill back. <laughs> Bill, Bill is inconvenient. Let me double check how much we need to get back home. Because it's, you know, it's no good if we pick everybody up and then we can't get back to Kerbin. And it's got to be even more irritating to get back to Kerbin from that polar orbit. Injection burn... It's looking like around 605 from a normal orbit, not a polar orbit. And we're looking like we're going to be doing, I mean, it's cutting it close. That's another 229. So we'll have a thousand left after we do that. And then we're going to have to figure out how to get from this orbit out back to Kerbin. That's almost Kerbin tangent right there. So how much does that cost us from that orbit? 800. Ah, it's so tight. That'll leave us with 200 meters per second. And then we're going to be carrying Bill with his pack. And that, that's probably extra mass. Oh, all right. We'll try. We might strand a whole bunch of Kerbals in the... Orbit they don't need to be in. Okay, that's Bill Retrieval Maneuver 1. Here is Bill Retrieval Maneuver number 2. Okay, Bill Rescue Maneuver number 3. God, we still need to do 150 meters per second after Bill Rescue Maneuver number 3. Okay. Puts us under a thousand meters per second to get home. Maybe we should have them dump their parachutes. 
or something. Which would make more sense to dump the EV-8 packs or the parachutes? Both. We could bus god this thing. Does Bill have a docking port? It's a small one. Oh, we can't get fuel from Bill. Bill can do 14 meters per second, right? EVA pack. Okay, EVA. Was there any signs to grab? Doesn't seem like it. This is a restore. We've probably already transmitted everything. Okay, well, does it for me. Okay, so where is the approaching dart? Bill could have probably handled more of the rendezvous, to be honest. We should have just had everybody do EVA propellant rendezvous. Uh, okay, grab. Yes, clip into that antenna. Oh, it's a full module, right. Okay, cancel that. We have four people in there already. You get to be the first one in your own custom module. Not that after all the trouble you've caused us, we deserve these accommodations, but anyway. Board, uh, grab. Whenever I try and press B for board, it always changes to grab on me. Okay. All right, 955. Well, so the question will be whether we can get home from this orbit with 955. It's going to be tight. And right now is not the time. Carbon has to be around here-ish. Well, let's go to the tracking station and time warp and see whether that happens first or the valve station maneuver happens first. I think the valve station maneuver is just a mid-course adjustment, so... We can quickly take care of that. Ah, a little bit past, but it should be alright. We're in the middle of nowhere. Looking for a very particular approach. I don't know if we're gonna be able to swing that exactly. Well, there's the Leif encounter, but we've got too much inclination. Let's mainly focus on getting the inclination right. Well, make sure to keep it safe. Oh, uh, that... I mean, we need to get to Val. We happen to be encountering everything but Val. Uh, but we get into orbit around Jewel, we pass by both Lath and Tylo. We'll just call it special and leave it be. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, what is the parameter for the Jewel station anyway? So we have a Jewel station contract. It just says below 4,000 kilometers. So we would need the periapsis way, way lower to satisfy that. Uh, lower than Val orbit or... Leaf orbit, so we we need to pull that. Hmm, that that is interesting. That would require a lot of delta v to get into that orbit. But okay, we'll see. I, this is priority val, so the jewel option getting in into that low orbit first will be if we can. But this is on its way. We should add an alarm before it arrives, just so I don't forget. Okay, so that's all set. Let's get back to the dart. Okay, that seems to be about the right planetary separation. Do I have to bring my protractor out? Uh, it's uh, supposed to be 75 degrees. Let's try it. Is there some trivial maneuver we can do out here to help? That'll cost too much. It's getting close there. Right? That's what we want to see happen. But uh, that is not going to be within our budget. How much is that? A hundred there. Seven hundred and eighty. That's hundred and sixty-eight there. That's doable. But boy, do I not feel good about capturing. <laughs> Let's see. Still doable. Okay, now how much is it going to take to capture? I'd like to do a pulsive capture, but... I mean, I just want to know how deep into Kerbin's atmosphere do we need for a basic capture first, and then we can air break down. 500. We'll try and keep it light. Uh, so we'll not be too deep in Kerbin's atmosphere. 
because I'm worried about overheating and you know exploding and stuff like that. We'll see. Um, all right, we are going to do this set of maneuvers. Uh, that break gives us our return before the valve station arrives. Let's just get this done. There's got to be some inefficiency here because we're starting the burn early because I can't bottle up fully. I'm going to use some of the monopropellant, if only to dump it. Okay, departing Duna. Okay, well, I guess that's as close as we're going to get there. All right, next maneuver out in interplanetary space. Does it still get us our intended encounter with Kerbin? Uh, not not exactly as we intended it. Okay, right. Typical. Well, I don't want it quite that deep in the atmosphere, but we'll start off with that. Okay, so that will be our correction. 22 days, we'll just stick with it. Okay, the dart has picked them up. Can the dart bring them back safely? That is the question. Five Kerbal's fates hang in the balance. This very... pretty much untested craft. <laughs> so... Okay, might as well have the RCS on again. That worked pretty well on the burn out of Duna. Uh, I'm not going to use it up deliberately. We'll just have it help with our balance. Please let there be an orbit. Oh, there it is. It's all about not burning up in the atmosphere now. Okay, well that would not help. Uh, okay, let's try 48. I don't know. Oh, we lost electric charge. Shoot. Um, RCS, oh wait, we have no control at all, I should have left RCS on, oh gosh, hmm, is this gonna change at all, or are we doomed, okay, so, Boy, I wish we had at least one pilot here. Or solar panels at the bottom, I don't know. Or I left the RCS on, because that would have helped. But right now, we don't have any control. We're headed into the atmosphere. We can't change that. I'm going to Alt F5 anyway. Uh, dart disaster question mark. And we're going to see what happens. Yep. Uh, can we, we can arm the parachutes or no? Let's see. Nope, I can't stage the parachutes either. We probably got to hit the atmosphere on the nighttime side and it's going to be all bad. Well... At least we're pointy and forward. <laughs> we have encountered the atmosphere. We have no control. And the docking port is going to be in trouble. Spinning is probably good. Well, no antenna. That's not going to help anything. We're going up. Spinning is good for power. Have we captured? Not really. 
because they're alive. And how far off are we in terms of orbits? Oh, well, it's still pretty far off, actually. That was nowhere deep enough. Seemed pretty violent, though. I think any any lower and things have, more things would have blown up. Wings sure look hot. Oh, I shouldn't have time warped. I wanted to keep spinning. And sure enough, I time warped so that it would be in a position where it wouldn't get any power. Okay, well, they're alive. Which means we're going to do a rescue mission. So next time, uh, we do have the maneuver with the Val station, but we're going to have to try and grab them. And in fact, I'm not going to go any further here. We are going to need to rescue these five Kerbals. At least they didn't die, but it's going to be annoying. <laughs> so the dart, that's so uh, good at grabbing Kerbals, not so good at bringing them back to Kerbin. So yeah, we'll pick it up right here. Maybe we can quickly build something in Intercept before it gets out of Kerbin SOI. Maybe we're going to have to do some interplanetary thing. We'll see. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.